G'day, Josh here with another episode of Don't Mind the Grind. Today, we're going to start off by jumping into my team. There have been some additions. Obviously, with the new off-season movers program, I've added a couple of those players. We can see that I've got that 76 LeBron James. He is the master I'll be working towards. At this point in time, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get all the way to his 85, but I definitely want to try and get at least his 83 overall card, and I do need the help in the small four position. So we've got him in there. We've also, I packed this DeAndre Jordan. Uh, he was from, I think he was from the gold to elite uh, trading set. Once again, all of my, every decent card I pack seems to be a center, so I wasn't too stoked about that as I've got an abundance of centers, but it is what it is. And also, uh, while ripping through the Mallow packs in a store for 25K coins a piece, I did pick up a few of these Julius Randle cards, so I kept one of them so that I have three of the off-season movers for the showdown bonus. So that is my overall at this point in time. Still currently a 79 overall, but I'm sure that when I upgrade that LeBron, that will jump up to an 80, which will be very nice. Now we're going to jump in and I've got a couple of NBA Today events I've still got to do. So we're going to start off by seeing if I can hit some half court shots in this episode. And I've also got some pro packs saved up. So we're going to rip through those. And I might even finish the episode off by ripping some more Mallow packs in the store. I have not pulled a Mallow yet the 82 overall version of his card the the nice looking elite but i have seen plenty of screenshots that you guys have shared with me on various social media sources and also of course on my discord and you guys are getting some really good luck so hopefully a little bit of that can rub off on rub off on me we'll see how we go let's see if we can hit this half court shot and just as i say it we do which is very nice so we get that one a go. That's 1,500 coins and some XP right there. We'll jump in and see if we can continue that streak and earn ourselves an additional 3K coins. This is an event that I'll always try and complete at least once. If I just fail it though, I'm not too worried about wasting more stamina on it. Uh, at this point in time, every little addition to my bank definitely helps but it's not worth dropping too much stamina on as there are definitely other things to uh, to spend your stamina on at this point in the game. So let us see if we can hit this one. We've got two shots left. I always often get it on that second shot and we get it both times on that second shot in both the first and the second events. So we've smashed those. All right, let us jump into my team. Back to my view all items. Not all of those are pro packs, but we do have, we've got 10. The rest of those uh, extra hardened tokens, they are they can be quick sold for 50 coins a piece, so it's definitely worth, actually I'll just jump across to my, my campaigns before we get stuck in there. It's definitely worth, if you've got the fast break blitz event unlocked, if you drop the $2 uh, to unlock that, the first win on this is quite nice. You get 300 coins, I think it's plus 900 coins for the first win, and then you get two of the times five token packs, and the first one of those can actually reward you bonus tokens. And if you're selling those for 50 coins each, then for 20 stamina, you can get quite a little bit of coin. So every six hours, make sure to get the first win on that. Obviously at the moment, my excess stamina is going towards off-season movers doing the Blitz event. I've done the three uh, challenge chains there. You can see I'm currently up to the Raptors movers, just waiting for that to unlock. Just under four hours till that unlocks and I'll jump in there. But my excess stamina currently is going towards this hard Blitz event. I will jump in and do one of these as well. Haven't been lucky enough to pull an elite token yet, which I'm sure I'm going to need as I work towards this Master LeBron. But I definitely have been pulling heaps of silver players and using the silver to gold player set in the off-season movers sets area to upgrade those to gold players and then to sell them on the auction house. If you're lucky, you can get about 9,000 coins for those at the moment for most of them, which is pretty nice. A couple more silvers. Uh, we Actually, I've just finished one of those sets, so we don't, are not going to have enough to complete another one at this point, but that's fine. We'll store them there for later. And now we jump back to my team. Let's get into the pro pack opening. Let's see how lucky I am today. I would love to pull an, pull an elite. I've got 10 chances with pro packs to do it. And as I said, I'll, I will open a few of those mallow packs. What's our current coin balance? We'll probably open three of them to get us just around 200K coins. You get a point guard Lonzo Ball, pretty low rating though. 
Let us see. Actually, I just read somewhere that he's uh, been all cleared. His knee concern is no longer a concern in regards to the Lakers doctors, so he should be good to go for the start of the season. So for Lakers fans out there, that is great news. Ooh, we get a 76 overall, JJ Redick. I actually had him as my starting shooting guard for a while until I moved him on when I got James Harden. He will sell for a pretty penny, so that is a nice little bit of profit there. That probably covers the cost of a pro pack. Should be around 10K, I'd imagine, thereabouts. So we're halfway through, no red paint yet, but I'm still hopeful, I'm still hopeful. We can still get something. Ooh, that's not gonna cut it. I need more than OG and Anobi. Come on, where's those elites? Just want one, one elite. Now, I'll be very happy if I can get one out of, one elite in 10 packs would be pretty good. Uh, with the odds, I think you're expected to get one out of every 33 packs, roughly. We do get another Lonzo Ball. Not who I'm after. Down to our final two packs. Can I clutch it out? Can I clutch it out? Not in that one. Corey Joseph, our final pro pack for today's episode. What will we get? We start off with a, there's our bronze, there's our gold, that's disappointing. So no elites in the pro packs, but let us jump straight into the store. For those of you that don't yet have this Mallow pack, you need to finish the first four challenges in the off-season movers campaign, and then this bonus store pack will appear for you. And then you can jump in and rip these packs at 25K coins a piece. You get two gold plus, uh, make it or two gold plus off season movers from the Make It Mellow pack, and you also get a gold moving box token. So we get ourselves a 77. I'm not going to complain about that. It's definitely better than a 75, but I would love an elite. I would love to pull a Mallow, especially in this episode. I have opened a few of these already, and I've not had any luck. And that continues. We have one final pack. This is it. This is it, guys. Can we clutch out an elite to wrap up the episode? This would be awesome if I could. There's the gold token. There's our first gold. Please be Mallow. Come on, Mallow. Not quite. Another 77 overall. That's all right. We will chuck those up in the auction house. We'll claim our bonus pack too. I'm not sure if you have the ability to pull an elite in this particular pack, but you certainly do get free players, so you, everyone should be claiming their free elite pack every four hours. I also ripped, I think it was four of those Tracy McGrady packs. I would love that T-Mac card, but no luck there either. Let me know in the comments if you guys have had any great pulls and what you think of this program so far. I think it's been fantastic. It looks really grindable and super accessible for the entire community. I'm really enjoying getting stuck into it and I can't wait for more content to unlock. Thanks for watching the episode, guys. If you like this sort of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and that way you'll never miss out on any of my new videos.